Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard, and thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I have a Dollar Tree haul. I had to stop and get some things for the home, and I took, you know, I'm always, I'm constantly work, tipping away at my craft room here trying to get organized. And so I have a little bit of a haul for you. Um, I went to the bigger Dollar Tree because our, the one that's like a few minutes from me just doesn't seem to have the same kind of uh, choices. So anyway, uh, the other one's not that much farther. So anyway, I got two of these bins with this rubber, um, it's probably for forks or spoons or something. Um, I guess it's called the drawer organizer. But I liked the um, sturdiness of this because I thought I could just put, put you know, my paint brushes and things like that in there that are... Um, you know, and whatnot. So, um, things like that, long skinny things that I have a lot of. And got two of those. And they're nice, sturdy, um, they remind me of like Rubbermaid type quality. Um, anyway, let's buy essentials. So, I got two of those. I got two of these, um, just lidded plastic bins because I'm always needing to organize. <laughs> my elastics and seam binding and all that sort of thing. Velcro, because <laughs> I needed some Velcro in my stash. Yes. <laughs> Which is kind of totally not my thing. But um, I'm going to paint over this. So it, what's nice, it already comes you know, with this nice twine attachment here. It's about yay long. So a nice thing there. It's made of this like um, sort of like what a, a clipboard is made out of type of deal and it was nice and sturdy and I thought I could just put some gesso it's got it's got one of these foam things I think they sell these there but I could just I could pick that off and I could put some gesso all over this and have fun painting and making my own sign for a buck uh, for that nice sturdy material I thought that was a really great idea foil sheets I'm curious to open these I, oh and a piece of chipboard um let's see we've got red might just be red. Oh, gold? Oh my, that is <laughs> a little bright. Um, but anyway, red, gold, and this like magenta type color. Um, so you get several, you get three sheets, it looks like. Three sheets? Yeah, three sheets. Four sheets? Looks like three. Three sheets of each of that. And then on the other side, we have got silver. And this royal blue, that's nice. Um, four sheets of that. So I don't know, there's no rhyme or reason to that, I guess. And four sheets of silver. So I guess three of the other colors. And uh, so for a buck, that's a great deal on those. There's a lot you can do with that. Um, mixed media wise these because uh, I saw somebody else um, get one of these and said that they worked really well. I'm always suspicious of these things. I always feel like, you know, I need to do... I need a better tool for, you know, getting in glasses or whatever, and then I get one and it doesn't work, and I feel like you wasted the money. So for a buck, and it's nice and soft, it seems like it'll work really well, and someone else said it did, so I'm going to give that a go. Um, they had some gel pens that are metallic in gold and silver, so I thought that would be that was a good deal. Two gel pens there. I got some little canisters to organize some of my sequins and things, so you get eight of the storage containers. I got this. <laughs> this is a foot file. But I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it right now because so oh yeah look at that. That's cool. It does work. Yay! <laughs> so sorry. So for a buck you have the foot file <laughs> is, let me get that back out in case you want to do that, um, the two-in-one foot file uh, from Sassy Chic. And that I'm going to be using as my distressor. Oh, it makes my teeth grow. You give me a lisp a little bit, but... <laughs> um, cool. Well, I'm excited that that works, because a buck is a whole lot cheaper than ten. All right. Yay! Because, I mean, you can use your scissors, which is what, you know, you open up your scissors and you go like this. It, it just takes a long, a little bit longer, and then you got to watch your fingers and so forth. So you can do it with scissors, but I thought I would give this a go when I saw it. I immediately saw, thought of that Prima one or whatever one, whatever company makes that. Look at that. 
super excited about that. What a hack, right? All right, go get yourself one and distress some papers. All right, yay! All right, I got some more paper bags because I'm going to be making some paper bag albums as well as my kids use these sometimes for taking food to church on Sunday. Um, we're homeschooled, so we don't uh, have a sack lunch. <laughs> Napkins for a little deco decoupage or um, type of idea, um, you know, and making little art tiles and things. I thought this was pretty. This goldfinch, I liked this post, post letter here and stamping, and I like the distressed, and I like the colors, and I even like the bird. And on the other side here is a little line drawing and another bird. So it's, I just thought the teacups were kind of fun, so kind of a folk artsy uh, thing there. So um, some stickers. I'm hoping the glitter doesn't come off on these. Uh, a little bit, but for the most part they're pretty good. I liked the deer especially, I thought those were cute, and the snowflakes and trees. Um, so that's that. Colors that I thought I would need. They had some of this um, sequin. Now you can either pull these off the string and use them individually, or you can use them on the string. I got that in green, and I got it in red. And they had a gold, but I thought the gold looked kind of cheapy, so I didn't get the gold. Um, I got a couple pens. I thought these were kind of cool because now that my kids are taking all my pens downstairs here for school, um, I liked these. I like orange and I love black, so um, I like these with the little rhinestones. I thought they looked tasteful. Cleaner to organize some little bits and bobs. I think it's supposed to be for makeup, but whatever. Use it for what I need. Some binder clips. I got this one. I thought that looked kind of like a hand. It's not enough fingers, but it reminded me of a hand. Um, I got that one, and I got this one, um, which I guess is supposed to be maybe a butterfly or a flower. I'm not sure. But I thought we could add some embellishments to that, and that would be cute in some mini journals and things. So, two of those. Sequins. Okay, so they had sequins. I've used their sequins before, and I've liked them a lot. So I got some sort of wintry colors with uh, the different blues and teals and limes and the green you could use for Christmas or St. Patrick's Day or things like that. I got this one that also has the lime but it also has this dark purple that I liked in the royal blue. And then this is all different pinks and purples. So I got those to add to my sequins. I don't have a ton of sequins. So... Uh, also, to make shaker cards, they had these little bead, glass bead sets in matching colors, and I liked the different textures that they were. Uh, you have the sort of iridescent ones, and then the matte, and then the little tubular ones, and then the sort of frosty, and so forth. And I thought mixed with some sequins, that could look really cute in a shaker card. And for a buck, you can't beat that price. So I got purples. And lavenders and pinks here. This is kind of a dark, dark brown almost. It's hard to tell. And this is like a brownish purple. So uh, that, that's like a winter blue. And then this one had some whites and things. I thought that would look fun for like snow <laughs> or things like that. And they had some blacks and grays, which I always tend towards. Um, we had more of these little composition notebooks. Um, I have a video on my channel that is how to um, alter one of these, so I'm, I'm going to try some more and do those. You can give those as gifts. They make great little stocking stuffers. Um, great for writing down grocery lists, um, for uh, people who are writers and want to jot down some ideas. Sometimes when we go on vacation, we see things that just kind of inspires us and we want to jot it down. Um, I got to the checkout and I was like, I didn't see the washi tape. And the lady was like, what are you saying? She didn't, I had to say it like five times. She did not know what washi tape was. So this hadn't been open there and they were right behind her and she's like, oh, the decorative tape stuff. <laughs> and I was like, I guess it's not actually washi tape. This It's deco tape. Um, I'm used to the see-through Japanese sort of style washi tape but this is that's what I was looking for and then all she had was this glitter stuff so I'm hoping this does not um, this is gold and silver and I'm hoping it doesn't 
rub off. That's the thing with glittery stuff. I, I don't like it when we get glitter everywhere and then, you know, my son says glitter is litter. It seems to be fine. Yeah. Good. So, that won't come off. So that'd be great, especially for the holidays, gold and silver, and nice neutral neutrals that we can use for lots of things. Well, that's my humble little <laughs> Dollar Tree haul. All right, I need to finish my video for my Dollar Tree haul because I forgot a bag at the store and I didn't realize it until two days later. Fortunately, they still had it, so I had to go back and get it. So the things that I had left there was... Um, this uh, exfoliating shower smoothie I was going to try. I love coconut and cream. And I thought that that looked like it would be a good one. It smells good. Uh, so I'm excited to try that. It's almost 7 ounce, well, 6.8 ounces. And then this one, I love mango and papaya. It looked more expensive than a dollar. So uh, if any of you tried those and you like those, go ahead and leave a comment below and tell me what you think. Um, also got some of these bulbs that I'm going to decorate. I got this, um, vase type holder. This could be for flowers, this could be for a candle holder, but I'm going to try to do some embossing on this. So, uh, maybe for a Christmas centerpiece or something, we'll have to see what I'm in the mood for. But anyway, for a buck, it's a good quality one there. So, got that. Then, um, let's see, the rest is a Tuesday morning haul, which is very tiny because of the budget, but nevertheless, I got some of this uh, hand soap, and it looked pretty cool. Um, it's Hummingbird Foaming Shea Butter Hand Soap, and I love foaming soap, and this is a nice a bottle. I love the sort of French looking to me. Um, but the, you know, the birds and the nature and everything, and really good pulled pork, and it's super duper easy recipe, so if you're interested in that, let me know, I can do a video on that, but this, um, I used this barbecue sauce, and it is really, really good, elastics on sale, or available, sorry about the wrinkly there, uh, they had some elastic, which I use a lot, I make a lot of uh, my daughter's skirts and things, and then I got that in the white, which is a half inch, so I got those, to, I'm always using up my elastic for my sewing. And <clears throat> for 99 cents, they had these K and Company. I know everybody's hauling these, but um, I really like metal. And they are these very, um, like, rivet type of um, studs, you know, that I thought were really cool. I'm going to be doing some more journaling and flip books and things like that. And these go really well with um, some of the Prima papers that I have as well. So, um, yeah, so that I could mention that mix and match in there. I thought that was a nice variety. Um, little variety of things about friends and such. Um, and then I just got one paper pad because I've got paper, but I, want, I needed some 12 by 12 that had um, these colors in it. And so uh, this is double-sided, and you get 28 sheets, uh, plus the cover, which you can use, of course. And, of course, I didn't open it. And that's all I've got, folks. <laughs> all right, go ahead and leave a, th or hit a thumbs up, rather, and go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great creative day.